Hi everyone, welcome. It's good having you here. I'm going to be doing a suds test today of three of my recent soaps. Hope you're not tired of these. I know I have done several of these recently and it's because, why do I do them? Because first of all, it's the honest answer is that it's content for the channel, but also because I like to see how they suds. I haven't used these yet and people are buying them and I know how most of them are going to be because I'm the one making them so <laughs> I understand that. Um, but also I personally enjoy washing my hands and during this time of COVID it's even more important than ever that we do wash our hands and that we remain clean and my hands are a little dirty as outside so it's a good time to test them these three bars are ones that either were malformed or dented or something else or like this one i'm going to use in the shower i've already sold these soaps in my shop but i still had not done a suds test on them so it seemed like a good time to do that um, these are a lot of fun uh, of course I gave some of these away in the recent drawing. I got to send these to several people, which is a lot of fun. I hope they're enjoying them. But this is the activated charcoal soap I call poison because it's poison to germs and bacteria. Of course, all soap is poison to those things if we utilize uh, it properly. Uh, how does soap kill things? Mostly through the agitation and movement. And this is a nice, look at those nice black suds from the activated charcoal. But you know what I like also about a black soap suds? It's easy to tell when they're rinsed off. But, you know, so many people claim that the activated charcoal is a detoxifier. It, uh, charcoal does absorb things. I'm not sure in soap how well it can detox. No longer it's on the skin, but hey, if there's a chance maybe it does that, that's cool. All right. So that was a nice creamy suds. And of course, the activated charcoal feels really good on the hand. It is like a very, very, very mild uh, exfoliant as well. Uh, that is the ground up charcoal, of course. This is bamboo charcoal here. Of course, in the video, I think um, it was called by the other name, which was mummified or mummy mummies that had been ground up. <laughs> it was around Halloween when that was made. This was the Woodsman, the wood grain soap that I made. Of course, also it has some activated charcoal in it, along with some cocoa powder. Uh, let's see. Okay, this one looks like it's a more sudsy soap. And so much is dependent. That one was so heavy with activated charcoal, it actually did reduce some of the sudsing in it, but that's okay. But again, this is a nicely colored. You know what? Funny, all three of these soaps have activated charcoal in it. I hadn't even thought about that until just now thinking about it because that one, the Abyss, also has activated charcoal in it. And that was the one that I made when I was kind of depressed. Oh, that smells really good. That Woodsman is the, if I didn't say, the first one that I did, the poi, the one I call poison, uh, is Cedarwood is uh, cedarwood essential oil that I just used the one in it. I just didn't want to complicate it any. And the woodsman, this one I just did here, is cedarwood, fir, and pine needle. And it is such a nice woodsy, that is a nice, 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 nice smell. Now this is the one, this is the abyss. Mm-mm-mm. So citrusy smelling. Okay, so let me get it wet. 
Let's see what we've got. I anticipate this one will be even bubblier. This was the one I made um, after the event with the barn and the person painting nasty words on it. I was in a bad way when I made this soap, but it didn't affect the quality of the soap. <laughs> Thank goodness it turned out to be a nice looking soap, I think. And it smells good and it sets nicely. So the abyss turned out to be just an abyss for the dirt and germs on our hands. And <laughs> not for me. I'm very happy. I'm in a very good place. And I'm not going to let some knucklehead <laughs> ruin my day. And the knuckleheads out there do try to ruin our day sometimes, don't they? You may be wondering why I have the thumb harp over here. Give me just a moment here. Um, I am not musical. I love to sing, and for the chagrin of many others, but I do enjoy singing. It makes me happy. And that came, I think, a lot from my mother, who sang to me a lot as a child and taught me about music. I learned about a lot of 1940s and 50s music from my mother, who would sing like Ella Fitzgerald songs and Sarah Vaughan songs and Billie Holiday and so many wonderful artists of that time. And so I learned to, to love songs early on. So. I learned to sing, but I never did. I took like some guitar when I was younger and things, but, and I took some piano. And <laughs> I was told by a piano teacher, this is what they said to me. This woman said to me, I think I took like six months of piano. And she said to me one day, honey, some people just don't have an ear for music and I'm just stealing your money by you coming here. And so that was the last time I went, broke my heart. I was so, I was really sad by that. But anyway, I have several different types of musical, smaller musical instruments around, like this thumb harp. And I've played with it a little, and I can only play the beginning of one song, Beautiful Dreamer. Um, beautiful Dreamer, you know. Beautiful Dreamer, wake unto me. And so I can play. So that's a beautiful dreamer. That's all I can play. I haven't learned the rest of it yet. But I do try. <laughs> so I'm playing with it. Maybe someday I'll be able to play an entire song for you. All right, everyone. I appreciate you coming and uh, spending the time with me in this Sudge Test. It was a lot of fun for me. I'll see you back soon. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Thank you.